Happy, 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 happy days. It's always fun to get a new package. Yes. <clears throat> so I ordered new clear bottles with black fine mist sprayers. There's ten of them. So they work good. <clears throat> Can you guess what I bought these for? Want to make little alcohol inks and a new gold sprayer. Probably gonna have to order more. I don't think ten will do the job. I really love how I can create on tissue paper and tags and packages I wrap to ship out before I put the clear tape on them. I like to spray them with the <clears throat> with the gold. So last year I started saving my little short little water bottles. Let's see how short these are, the little ones. And I discovered about alcohol links. And I thought, hey, I want to try to make my own. So I started using my acrylic paints in in these bottles and we're going to look at these to see if any of them are any good because I noticed some of them some of them would separate and get gritty And that can't be good for the nozzles. Here's a gold one. This has been laying for months. So this is good. We're going to transfer this into one of the bottles. That's another gold rush. These are two different ones. This is 3315. So the, the orange separated and got all gritty. That was an acrylic orange in alcohol. Didn't work. Here's another pink one. Got all gritty. We're just going to throw that out. So I'm looking for them that are nice and smooth looking. If when I shake them, they don't go back together. I don't want to put them in my bottles. This one's iffy. This one will be okay. I don't know if the camera shut off before I showed these gold ones. These ones I'm going to put into a bottle. They're okay. They didn't separate. Those were a mica. Didn't separate. Those were a mica. These beautiful colors here. This, I think this looks okay. This is a little bit light. You could see the paint all settled in here, and it's not mixing together. 
So those are going back in the drawer. I'm not going to, um, I mean, if I had a really fine funnel and I could put them through it, maybe I could find another use for them. But, um, these have been sitting, let's see, I started epoxy art in June and I started working with these, I believe, possibly in April or May. So they've been in the bottles a long time with the alcohol. So if I put anything that's going to be gritty, it's not going to come through my sprayer. So this was my first attempt at alcohol inks. And as you can see, some of the colors look half decent. But I think what I'm going to use, I'm just going to keep these aside because I don't know if I could ever use them for anything, but I'm going to try the inks. I purchased a bunch of inks. This bottle's interesting. This is liquid from the Jacquard Rich Gold bottle. That you have to has a bead inside of it and you have to shake it up a lot. This one here. It's got a bead in it. Well, I noticed how much powder or whatever they use in that to make it gold settled to the bottom and how much blue liquid was in the top and I thought you know what I want my gold to be really dense so I removed a bunch of the liquid out of this bottle and brought it down about halfway and then would shake it up and use it to make sure I had a condensed amount of the gold on my pro on my projects that I was using it on my geodes and my my uh, my different tiles I was using it on. So I have a brand new one coming. So I'm getting the new one. Um, so anyone who uses this is aware of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I kept the liquid from it. And when this was getting down to the nitty gritty and just had a lot of powder in it, I did dilute it a little more to stretch it till I got my new bottle. So I'm going to hang on to that bottle. But I just wanted to say for anyone that's using it, if you find that it's, you know, it's too watery and it's not mixing up good for you and that sort of thing, I removed a lot of that uh, other liquid. I just waited till it settled and I just poured a lot of that liquid off the top and then I just kept it more dense in there. So I was real much more happy with that, using it that way. And then I had bought... As you're aware, recently I bought the Dilutions ink sprays, and those are water-based, and they're absolutely beautiful. So these do not have any alcohol in them. <clears throat> now, I did buy inks by accident recently that I, didn't, I can't read Chinese, and I didn't realize they were water-based. So I can actually use these and add some water to them and probably make some pretty inks like I just bought. I haven't tried it yet to know that, but I think I will give it a shot and just test out at least a color that I like in the bottles. And these are really pretty. I'm going to hold on to these. I don't really want to waste any of my good bottles on these. Maybe when I get more bottles, I'll give it a shot. But I only have 10 bottles to play with. So um, we'll try making a color out of these. I have some 
distilled water that I keep down here in my drawer. I use a little bit of that in one of the bottles and one of the ink colors. And I have my um, Dr. Martin's inks. No, I don't remember. Let me see. Light, fast, and waterproof. Pigmented India ink. You know, I haven't used these in a while, and I don't remember if they're water-based or an oil-based. But this is definitely an oil-based green. Ambo, I used uh, com generic Ambo computer ink. I had a four full packs, and I believe that this is water-based ink. I don't want to make the same squirt bottles that I already have as the Colors in Delusion. So I'm just trying to think here what I would like to try to experiment with. I have purple. I have dark blue. I don't have a sky blue. I have a turquoise and a dark blue. And there is a bright yellow here. I do have a green already. As far as I know, if I mix this up with alcohol, it's going to be okay. I'm going to do a test run in a little cup, though. If I have any little cups left. <clears throat> Before I, I don't want to ruin a bottle. And if anybody's watching, a big hello to you. So let's take a little bit of the 91% alcohol. Just put it in the bottom of that cup there. And we're going to take a couple drops of the yellow. I did five drops of the yellow. This is the Yankee 87 ink from eBay that comes from China. So I don't see any little uh, grit in there. I think this is going to make a good little ink. I'm just going to have to add some more, and that's kind of light. Now sometimes I missed my resin with an alcohol ink. So if I do it on a white, the yellow is going to show up nice.
See how much that, how dark that looks before I add more. Let's see, I'll get a piece of tissue paper out. Use what I would normally use. It's a great time of year to buy white tissue paper. All day time. And a lot of it will be on clearance soon. We're going to freeze up and play games again. I guess we are. All right. Looks like I'm going to make a part two. I'll be back. <laughs>